Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a portable digital microscope. So this is one of those microscopes that can hook up to your phone or computer and you can take a really close look at certain things with 200 magnification. So this should be very interesting, so let's get started. Alright, so this microscope is made by a company called Tesla and this is the box that it comes in. So here in the back looks like we have of what's included inside. So we do have magnifications from 10 to 200, 720p resolution. Pretty cool, let's open this thing up. Alright, so we're greeted with thank you for your order. And here we can see all the accessories that come with it. So you get a scope with a decent amount of wire looks like. It looks like some attachments for the scope. Looks like USB to USB-C adapter, a USB to micro USB adapter. So it looks like here we have a stand. That's a pretty nice one guys. It's got a foam pad on the bottom and it's finished in chrome and it's all metal. Very nice. So it's one of those one lever here does everything. It tightens up the whole thing as you tighten this. Also there's a very tiny little screw in there or bolt for something. And we have a manual and it looks like a little Tiny CD, application CD, very interesting. So I guess if you were going to use this on the computer, you could install this and use the software to connect to the microscope. All right, so we do get a pretty nice manual here. So it looks like we have the focus wheel on the very top of the rod there. And here it kind of tells you how to use all the software and things like that. If you do have a Mac, you can download VLC looks like to use with the scope. For phones, here's a little scan bar here. And they do have an app for that. All right, so let's take a closer look at the scope here. So it's about six inches long or so. And in the front there, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a camera right there with a lens. And there's actually looks like to be little LEDs in there. So if you're going to get up to close, something really close, you want to, you know, to have light there. And this will have it. So as we move up here, it looks like here, this is the focusing ring. And so the focusing ring just turns here. And you should be able to adjust for a clear image as you're looking at something. So as we go down, we see a cable, a little strap here. So the cable looks to be about four feet long or so. So as we go down, we can see here's a little controller. And this controls the brightness of the LEDs. Pretty cool. And if you go to the end of the wire, you'll find the USB plug here. But this is not just an ordinary USB plug. This is a multifunction one. So, so if you pry this down, you can see that now we have a micro USB here that you could plug straight into a phone. And if that wasn't possible, you could use this adapter that they included and then plug in into your phone. But if you have a newer phone, which most of them are going to USB-C, you would use this adapter just like that. So as you can see, guys, you have all the options to connect. So it should be pretty easy to get connected on any of your devices. All right, so let's try to put the scope in this stand that they include here. This is a very nice stand, and it appears to be that the scope goes into here, and then you can kind of adjust it wherever you want by just loosening this, you know, and then it's really loose, and then tighten exactly in the position you want, and it stays there. Pretty awesome. Screw here that was included actually threads into the top here, and that's what's going to keep the scope from not turning in there or moving around. So you'll tighten it with this little screw. So all we do is we just slide it in there. So depending on how where you're going to have it is how far you're going to go down. But we'll leave it about right here. And there you go, guys. How that little mount works there. And obviously you can point this in any direction you know, that you want. So you could set this up and have it always in the same spot if you wanted to do that. All right, so I'm pretty excited to connect to the phone. So let's do that next. All right, so I'm using an Android phone. And what I did is I went to the Play Store and I typed in Teslong and we can see here that we have the app Teslong HD Camera. So we're just going to click on that and install it. Alright, so now that it's downloaded, we're going to click open and it's asking us to connect to the camera first. So I went ahead and used the adapter that comes with it. And we're going to use the Teslong HD Camera app. 
And look at that guys, looks like something is on. All right, so hopefully you can see that the something's moving there, but it appears to be out of focus at the moment. So, so we need to go ahead and just spin this little focusing ring here until we can have a clear picture. All right, so it looks like I'm getting somewhere. So once you hit it clear, you'll know. And we're pretty much butted against the table there. And you can see how good it's picking up the wood there, the wood grains. You can actually see the detail in the clear coat, the little bubbles or whatever they are, that this table was cleared with. So as I move it, you guys can see the refresh rate is actually really good. It gets sharp pretty quick. Wow, well that's really cool. Let's find something interesting to look at. So if you watch this channel, guys, you know that I love 3D printing. And this is a little benchy here that a printer prints. And I'm wondering if I use this little microscope here to look at my layers. So let's go ahead and adjust this thing and look at some point of this benchy. All right, guys, so I'm focusing on that little part in the back there. And you can see it's like a hole. But check out those layers, the way you put down that top layer. So I'm going to try to move the mic microscope here just a little bit. Wow, that's pretty neat. Let's move up higher here. Kind of want to see what's on top of this roof here. So every time you move it, guys, you will have to focus it. All right, and here we can see the layer lines on top of the roof there and how the uh, plastic there was melted together. And there's a corner right here. Wow, that is amazing how close that you can get to this thing. So you can see, guys, right there we're at the corner, and that's what we're looking at. Wow, this is a really fun microscope here. I can totally see a bunch of things you can do with this thing. So one of the things that we haven't looked at is the little adapters that come with it. And there's four of them, looks like. So we have like this funnel looking adapter where it gets thinner at the end. And then one that's even more tapered. So if you wanted to, you know, look into something really close and block the light around it, you know, this could definitely be what you want maybe. Here we also have a mirror adapter. So when you put this on, you can see it looks in there and then it looks whatever's 90 degrees now. So that could be pretty useful if you're wanting to look at something that you can't look at straight on. And here's a really good one because this is probably maybe the best for pretty much everything is you'll put the scope in here and then you can just cap it over wherever you're looking at and it's kind of isolated. Plus you can always have the right focus every time when you set this thing down because the distance from here to here will be always the same. So I think this one is very useful and let's go ahead and put it on and we'll just see how that works out for us. And so now we can walk around and probe things and we'll be in focus every time. So we just need to set the focus once. So let's go ahead and set that focus. And there we go, we got the focus set. So now every time we go anywhere, we're always gonna be in focus. But if you did want to go micro, you would have to take this out because, you know, it does leave a quite a bit of space between the surface area that you're looking at and the microscope here. So, so I'm kind of curious, what if I go straight down? Can I still focus on something here? So pretty close. So it looks like I need about one eighth or so off the table. So maybe about like two, three millimeters off the table to have the minimum focus here. So that's pretty close. And you can see, guys, that my hand is shaking there and I'm trying to hold it as steady as possible. And that's what this stander here is for. So here you can see we got it adjusted just right. And that's the gap right there you can see. So yeah guys, you can see that is the pen that I was writing with on the paper there. And that's how the inks laid down, which is really crazy. But yeah, that just blows my mind. I mean, it's amazing how you can see how a pen lays down the ink. So that is the ink particles on that paper there. So here's my phone case, and I'm wondering if we can look at these carbon fiber. I'm not sure if that's real or not, but I'm kind of curious of what that looks like. Set it up here. So I raise the scope, and now I'm just going to lower it slowly until I can see the fibers. You know what? Let's make this on an angle because I'm kind of curious. I wonder if we can see it better. All right, so <laughs> you can see that you can actually see the carbon fiber. So this is what it looks like to your eye, I guess. And then if you put it under the microscope that's what it looks like so you can see the individual little strands there of whatever however that was made it looks like maybe printed or i'm not sure how they would make this but that's pretty amazing of how you can see the individual little lines so close so another thing i want to note is that you don't have to be super close to look at something if you wanted to look at it a little bit farther from a distance let's say about right here you can be there 
and just adjust the focus. But if you want to get closer, let's say we want to get a lot closer, you know, we'll get that close and then we'll adjust the focus to that. So now we're very close and we can see the paint marks on that pen. So here we have the number eight and the phone number. We can get even closer to that, I think. And there you can really see the number eight. So this is a really, really fun microscope, guys. I can totally see kids enjoying this and even adults, you know. I can see that how most people can enjoy this kind of microscope because it really gives you a different view of everything. And if you work on like electronics or even small things or if you just have a hobby where you have really detailed work, this could be a very valuable little tool here. So the design is very attractive. It's all chrome here. So nothing's really plastic. They give you this really nice stand to set it up. So and I haven't really played with this light, but it does have a light where you can go brighter or lighter here. But you can see the outer exposure kind of compensates for that. But I just keep my light on about a medium and it seems to do pretty good overall. So you can play around with that and see what's the best. But it's so cool that it does have a light. So, And not only that, is I think this is supposed to be IP67 waterproof. It says right on the box, but it's only on the probe. So, you know, you don't go completely in there. Just a the tip here can technically go underwater. So you can really get creative with this thing and look at stuff. And it just seems like a really fun little microscope. And I think kids would enjoy this because it would be very educational for them. And with their curiosity, they would love to put things under there and see how they look like. All right, guys. Well, I'm giving a big thumbs up for this microscope. And if you're interested in a microscope like this, I'll leave some links in the description. It's from Amazon, so check that out. And if you want to see more videos like this and you're not subscribed to this channel, I do a lot of reviews. So hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.